A LinkedIn company page helps others learn more about your business brand, product services, and job opportunities. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a page, add admins, publish content, and add employees. So the first step is to go ahead and create a page. And to do that, you can just come down into the work section here. You can scroll to the bottom, and you're gonna see the option here to create a page. Now all you wanna do is firstly put in the company name, so I'll just put in setup demo as an example. And then you're going to see that you can adjust the LinkedIn public URL or your custom URL. And ideally this will just be the name of your business uh, and hopefully that is available there for you. And you just wanna click verify that you're official representative of the company and go ahead and create the page. Now as suggested here, you should add a logo and cover photo, give candidates full context around your company by filling out all the sections, and you can even add your company name and company description in each target language that you are discovering. So we'll just go ahead and click uh, get started. Now in here you can see those options to add the profile image, change the name, add the description, etc. Now it can be a little bit intimidating to fill this out if you're not sure what to fill in. So what I would recommend you do is you actually op open up LinkedIn again in a separate tab and then you can come into the search bar here and start to search for some companies. So let's just take HubSpot as an example. And actually, I think their page came up there, but if they don't, you can come across the companies. Just open that up. And what you can essentially do is have a look at some companies and their pages and use it as a template for yourself. So you can see they've got a nice bright logo in terms of it just being two colors. And that's a key thing for company logos. It's a great idea to have two colors and not a white background because that'll blend into the page. So you really want it to be a bright color background. And then I see white here, that really pops out. You can also see that they've used their cover image space to show the team members. It's kind of a fun place to work. That's appealing to candidates if they wanted to come and learn more about LinkedIn and the jobs that are available. Well, look, it looks like a pretty fun place to, uh, to work and that's the type of thing that you can use that cover image for. Let's open up another page again and we'll have a look at some other different types of companies. So if we search for Nike and see it didn't pop right up there so we can come to companies and again we can have a look there. So what we can see here and this is kind of interesting best of company pages 2017 as awarded by LinkedIn themselves. In the background there is really the campus uh, of their offices and so again it's appealing really to people who would potentially work there. Not only the team but hey that looks like a pretty awesome place to work. Now if we scroll down uh, maybe down to the about us let's have a look at these. So they really get into you know what they actually do, what their kind of story is, how many customers they have, and where some of the offices are. So that's important for an international company. And if we look at Nike, then let's have a look at example of them. A little bit of the history about the company, named after the Greek goddess of victory. And again, some of their places where they're actually operating, their founder or founders, Phil Knight, is kind of a well-known guy. And then also you can see that they've added in their website, you're founded, type of company they are, number of employees, specialities, etc. If we do the same on the HubSpot, you can see those same details are there as well. So the point is that I would encourage you to search for some company pages, check out what they're doing, and um, model yourself on even people particularly in your niche or company sizes that are similar. But as a general rule, you can see the profile logo here, two simple colors and with a, a simple image that really pops out. So Nike, we can have a look at these, see black background, simple logo, two colors, pops out. Cover photo, show the team, or maybe even show the campus where you're working. And then in terms of the about us, a little bit of history, explain really what the company does at a high level, and the areas where you are uh, operating, 
And here's an interesting part as well. For more information, visit our company site or career site. And then they include the company's details. So you can see that this page is really geared towards hiring people into the company because there's a clear call to action there. And they're also focusing a lot on the um, campus and probably a similar thing here as well. So there's tons of ideas on existing LinkedIn pages. You can just take the best ideas from them and apply them to your own page. So I'll let you fill in the uh, steps there for yourself. Fairly straightforward, but let's explore some of the other features of uh, the LinkedIn company page. And one is the updates. So you can really share updates and this will go out to the people who are following your page. And um, you can do it in a very simple way like that. You can just come to the updates page, publish it. You can see engagement details here and metrics. Now coming across to analytics as well, we can see it's people who have followed the page, the careers page, the company's page, etc. So there's a full breakdown in terms of the analytics. And we can also get some notifications there if our company has been mentioned in a post and this is essentially where we would monitor that. So already in this video we've learned how to create a page to publish content and now look let's look at how to add admins to the page. So to do that you can just click on the admins tools in the top right hand corner click on page admins and then you will just go ahead and add any admins in. Now they must have set up their LinkedIn profile already. So once they've done that, you can just search in there to find them and then you can go ahead and add them. So let's just say you could just select somebody there. They're going to get the notification. And I'll actually just remove that because that's just a friend. And then you can go ahead and click save and they're going to receive a notification. Now the final thing we want to cover is how to add employees to your business page on LinkedIn. And actually it's the employees themselves who will associate with your page. So you really want to tell employees to come into their own pages here. I'll view the profile. Then you want to come down to experience, add some experience, and then you can put in the company. You can see it there, setup demo. And then they just go ahead and add in their title and when they've started, etc. And that's going to show up on their profile. So what you want to do is once you've set up your page, actually encourage your employees to set it up. You can give this information about the page name to the HR departments and maybe ask them to go to get everybody set up. So once again, to create a business page on LinkedIn, click on the work icon in the top right hand corner. Go ahead and create a company page and in there you can also add admins, publish content and then once you've set up your page you can ask employees to add themselves to your page as well and that is how you can really help people learn more about your business brand, products or services and job opportunities by creating a business page on LinkedIn.